Hello Sagittarius, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 9th through to the 15th of May 2022 or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, but as always Sagittarius, it is a general reading so it won't resonate with everybody um, but it will with some. All right, let's see shall we. So what do we have for the lovely Sagittarius please? The 9th to the 15th of May 2022. What's important for Sagittarius to consider at this time? Okay, we have number 46 and number 35. So number 46, this is talking about connections, the connections that we make, putting the pieces together, joining the dots, coming to conclusions, um, seeing the bigger picture, if you like. Um, and number 35, this is about solitude, um, Loneliness, possibly, for some of you. Restrictions, feeling restricted, feeling out on a limb, if you like, alone with your own thoughts, dropping the mask, you know, revealing yourself, if you like, possibly to yourself. All right, but there's something about um, about this and, and then joining the dots together. So let's see, shall we? Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so using the Gilded Tarot now, let's get into your reading. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please, at this time? What's important for Sagittarius to consider? Please show me clearly. First of all, uh, the heart of your reading, we've got the King of Pentacles. Uh, the root of the matter, we have the Seven of Swords. Past influences, the Ten of Wands. What you're thinking about is the High Priestess. The future going forward, we have the Five of Wands. And then something else that your guides want to say to you is we've got the Lovers. All right, at the bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups um, and this is a message of love being delivered. Somebody offering their heart um, from a very loving place. Okay, let's see. Sometimes the Knight of Cups can, can be referring to somebody bringing an apology forward. Um, but that's just that's just for somebody or for some of you. Okay, could we clarify all the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius? Could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius?
right at the bottom of this deck we have the ace of pentacles um now this is an offering um a financial offering it could be a, a job offer it could be an inheritance or a gift of money but there's something about something new new money new finances new opportunity here being offered coming forward that's promising some form of growth um, and abundance okay all right Sagittarius let's let's see okay at the heart of your reading the king of pentacles and the world um, the king of pentacles this could be a business owner somebody who manages money manages finances well it could be it could be re referring to an aspect of yourself um, Sagittarius it doesn't have to but um, it could do it's not gender specific but it's definitely some something about finances money management here um, now the clarifier is the world so this is there's an ending of an old cycle here something's coming to an end um, ready for it's a transformation and you're ready ready for taking um, a step through to a new beginning a new cycle um, all right and it's to do with some form of, of something to do with money work or career or somebody who has the king of pentacles energy So transformation, ending, ready for a new beginning there. All right, let's see. Right, at the root of this, we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Um, the Seven of Swords is a thief in the night energy. This is a deceptive energy. Somebody who wants everything, takes what doesn't belong to them. Um, very sneaky energy. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So this is... I feel this is representing yourself giving some deep thought, really deep, clear thought to do with whoever this Seven of Swords is representing. I feel it's somebody perhaps connected to you, Sagittarius, that you have to give some clarity of thought to, applying your sense of logic, but not allowing emotions to get in the way. All right, let's see. The past influences, Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Uh, the Queen of Wands is definitely your energy, Sagittarius. This is you. Um, very active, very proactive, um, creative. Sees opportunities, goes for them. Um, passionate about what you do. So this is definitely you here. Um, now, that's clar you're clarifying the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands is you know you've been carrying a, a big burden uh, carrying a big responsibility on your back um, but I feel what you've done is you, you've you've released that burden you've released that responsibility uh, because you've seen you've, you've seen other opportunities now and you don't need to keep carrying this burden it's got it's got too heavy for you it got too heavy for you um, so I feel you've you've been releasing it and and it's that's released and giving you space to re realize your creativity what you're passionate about and to become active again but it's something to do with money finances work career it's something to do with that and that and what you've rele what you've released the burden you've dropped has brought an end to an old cycle definitely concerning money in some way um ready for um this new beginning new opportunities all right so what are you what's on your mind at the moment well we have the high priestess pisces energy um and we have the seven of cups right um So what you're thinking about is there's something you know you don't know here. The high priestess knows things, but there's, she also holds secrets. So she has to tap into her higher self 
into the universal energies, the moon energies, connections, to get to the bottom of situations, to find out what it is that's lurking in the shadows. So you're giving a lot of deep thought, and you're tapping into your intuition to guide you concerning um, a choice, concerning options and choices. Um, I feel there's options and choices around and it's just choosing wisely, choosing wisely the way forward. And I feel it's to do with whatever this um, ending of an old chapter is to do with and then going forward. So these are all your options for going forward, I feel, and it's just choosing carefully. We have the red cup here that stands out, so you may go for something that stands out, but this red cup is, has got a snake under it and it's not one that you would perhaps want to become involved with. Um, so it's tapping into your intuition and choosing, selecting um, the options that, that are right for you or an option. All right, I feel it looks like there are opportunities going to be offered, particularly to do with finance, work, career. It's going to be offered. Um, and it's just deciding, tapping into your intuition about whether to accept it or not. But this is, this is an offering of love from somebody's heart, I feel. Going forward, we have the Five of Wands and the Fool. So, of course, the Fool is the leap, taking a leap of faith. This new beginning, new opportunity, taking a leap of faith. So you're clearly going to be choosing, selecting the cup that is right for you. Um, and I feel it's to do with this Ace of Pentacles opportunity. Now, the lead card here going forward is the Five of Wands, and this is conflict. Um, now, I feel you're going to be... Conf this is inner conflict, I feel. For some of you, this is inner conflict. Um, thoughts going round and around, which, you know, different perspectives here, different thoughts, different viewpoints about this leap of faith, this new new beginning, new opportunity. For others of you, um, or it could be a combination here of arguments and disagreements because of different viewpoints, different perspectives, and these arguments are going round and around and around um, to do with this uh, leap of faith, new opportunity. And it is making you feel uh, quite conflicted within. Okay, so what your guides want to say, we've got the lovers here, and we've got the Ace of Wands. The lovers is a Gemini energy. Um, now this is to do with a, a close relationship. It, it can be intimate, but it doesn't have to be. It's a very close relationship. But when the lovers comes forward, this is generally about making a choice, having to make a decision, having a choice. Um, and it's to do with a passionate new beginning, a passionate new opportunity. It's promising growth, expansion, new beginnings. Um, it's, it's a creative, we've got the, the fire burning in your brow chakra here, your um, third eye chakra. So I think something has sparked your imagination here. Something has sparked your imagination and your passion and it's to do with a relationship. It'll have a different meaning for all of you Sagittarius. For some of you, this could be talking about um, new love, new passion within a relationship. Could be a current relationship, but it doesn't have to be. Um, or it's your creative, something that's set, sparked your thinking, your thoughts, your passions, 
is going to mean having to make a decision within um, a relationship of some sort. And it could be that that's what the Knight of Cups is bringing forward, an offer of love. But you're certainly releasing a burden from the past. And it could be here, the this Ace of Wands is what's sparking you, what's sparking your interest, bringing your passions alive, Sagittarius. All right, but you're going to put the pieces together. You're going to join the dots. You're going to get a better understanding. You're going to see the, the, the bigger picture here, I feel. Um, and I feel you're going to take yourself out on a bit of a limb and get the answers here. Coming away from the crowd. Right, could we have two final messages for Sagittarius, please, to complete this reading? Two final messages for Sagittarius, please, to complete this reading. Right, Sagittarius, we have overcoming obstacles, so you can overcome anything, and, and you can. Uh, and reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. So, you know, nobody's promising a smooth ride here going forward, but whatever obstacle is put in your way, Sagittarius, you'll, you'll be able to overcome it. You know, your, your, your guiding planet is Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth. So you're not going to let any, any little obstacle stand in your way here going forward. And you're going to reach your destination. There's your castle in the sky. Uh, and you're, you're well on there. There's a butterfly of transformation here. Um, and, and, and there you are. Your light is shining brightly, Sagittarius. Beautiful. It's a lovely reading. Um, it won't be for everybody, but it certainly will be for somebody here. And whoever it's for, I hope you can recognise your story here. Um, and, you know, hope the, you know, the readings had some meaning for you and offered you some support. But, <coughs> excuse me, um, good luck going forward, Sagittarius. And until next time, bye-bye for now.